hey, let's decorate this really cool heart shape with even more shapes. You are going to have a lot of shape stickers. Some of the stickers are connected and you'll need to pull them apart gently before adding them to your bigger heart shape. Let's talk about shapes like squares, diamonds, triangles, circles, little circles, tiny, tiny baby circles. Those are all called geometric shapes. Let's use some geometric shapes like squares, diamonds, triangles, circles, and hearts to go around the edge of our heart. I'm peeling off the back of the sticker and placing those geometric shapes around the edge. I'm not stacking one shape on the other. I'm not having shapes that hang off of the heart. I'm making sure that they go, say it with me, around the edge. I'm also trying to make sure that I don't make a big old mess with all those little pieces of paper that I'm peeling off of my heart. So I'm keeping them in a nice little neat stack. Now, once you've gone around the edge, you can always add more shapes in the middle. Filling in all of those little spots with shapes. Ooh, a flower shape. That is an organic shape, shapes that we find in nature. Finished, your heart should be all filled in just like that. Okay, go get started. Finished so soon? Well, now we're going to do something called print making. We're going to use a roller or a brayer. We're going to roll it up and down and back and forth in the paint. That way we're covering the entire brayer or roller. Put your heart back on your messy mat. Use two fingers to hold your heart still. Now roll the paint onto the heart. Look what's happening. All of the shapes are turning the same color as the paint. Hmm, I wonder what we could do with this. I have an idea. Let's pull a print. I'm going to move my messy mat because it's messy. I'm going to take a piece of paper, a brand new clean one, and place it on top. When I place it on top of my heart, I'm not going to let the paper move. I'm gonna press it down, and one hand holds the paper still, while the other hand presses down nice and hard to massage the paper. What do you think is going to happen when I pull this paper off? Let's find out. Whoa, check it out. The design of the shapes now shows up on my paper. This is called pulling a print. I pulled the paper off of my heart that had shapes on it. It's called my printing plate. And now I have the exact same image, except reversed, now on my paper. If you want to do another print, you have to roll the paint onto the heart one more time before you make another print. Don't forget, of course, to sign your print. Let's review that one more time. Okay, put my heart on my messy mat, then I have to roll my brayer in brand new paint before I roll it on my heart. Anytime I make another print, I have to add more paint. Move my messy mat, place my piece of paper on top, and massage paper likey. Done with that? Peel it off and sign it. Let's make a background paper to cut out and glue our hearts onto. Going to use something called paint sticks. They're a lot like glue stick. You only need to roll them up a little bit before you make circles to make polka dots. I double dog dare you to make 100 polka dots. What you can do is do 10 polka dots with one color switch to a different color and make another 10 polka dots. Then, if you use 10 different colors, you will end up with, you guessed it, 100 polka dots. When you're using these sticks, do not roll the paint up too far on the paint stick. Keep it nice and low, just like you would a chapstick or a glue stick. You could even have some of the polka dots overlap each other. Something really cool happens when you do this. A new color emerges. 
So experiment and see if you can get 100 polka dots on your paper. Slowly and carefully, I am going to cut around the geometric shape that is my heart. Notice I am cutting around the shape of the heart. I'm not cutting out any of the parts that I printed. I'm going, what was that word again? Oh yes, around the shape of the heart. When I have two hearts cut out, I'm going to put glue around the edges. You never ever need to put any glue in the middle. Glue goes around the edges. Remember, when you're getting glue on your brush, if the glue starts to drip, wipe it on the lip of the cup. Not the lips on your face. After you have the glue on the back of your heart around the edges, you can flip it over and then turn your whole paper over to massage, massage, massage. Ah, paper likey. Friends, once you have one heart glued down, then you can glue your second heart down. Our masterpiece will then be complete. A beautiful work of art that we printed on, we painted on with our paint sticks, we cut and glued, and made a collage. Now let's do one more thing with that heart. While your heart is still wet with paint, we're going to put some aluminum foil on top. If your heart is no longer wet with paint, try rolling a little bit of paint on the heart. Now, notice that I'm very slowly just using my fingertips, the ends of my fingers to massage the aluminum foil. I'm trying to find all of the shapes on my heart. I see my geometric shapes of squares, circles, triangles. I see my organic shapes of the flowers and the insides of the flowers. Notice that I'm pressing the entire thing and I am not using my fingernails. It could accidentally cut the foil. I'm gonna flip this over and now I'm going to cut out my heart from the foil. But I'm not going to cut next to the heart. I'm going to leave a little bit of space. I'm cutting around it leaving a little bit of space. My scissors are not touching the heart. They are leaving a little bit of space, making a cut out heart that's bigger than my foam heart. Once I'm finished cutting that out, I can recycle the aluminum foil. All right, here I go. Scissors are moving, they're closing in. I went all the way around the heart, leaving some space. Now I'm going to fold the extra foil in. Bend it in with my fingers, still just using my fingers and not my nail. I'm going all the way around. Oops, it tore a little bit, but that's perfect. Right there at the top, bringing it all the way around. Now let's see what it looks like when we flip it over. And uh, flip, there we go. Ooh, now just you wait. I'm going to spray paint these with a little bit of black spray paint. When you get it back, it'll look like that. Check this out. You're going to use something called steel wool to find your shapes again. I'm using the steel wool like sandpaper. I'm rubbing it onto my heart and ooh, check it out. I can see all of my organic and geometric shapes. I can see all of this really cool texture that the foil made. I'm massaging the whole thing with the steel wool, definitely keeping my fingernails out of the way. Whoa, so cool. I cannot wait to see how beautiful your hearts turn out. So let's get started. 